Warm welcome you all to channel Meet MIT that is math is tricky. In this video I'm going to share some tips and tricks about plane. Okay, I'll be discussing what is plane and how will we solve the problems based on it. What are the formulas that are required for plane? I'll be discussing and then I'll be solving the problem. Please be with me. Let's see first what is the meaning of plane. Okay, so plane actually it is a surface, a, a surface such that uh, such that every line joining. Any two points on it wholly lies in it is called plane. Okay, actually, what uh, it is a surface in which if we take any two points. Uh, and then if we join that two points, the line obtained by joining the two points will always lie in that surface. Then that type of surface is called plane. The example, example, what is the plane? So it is here just like board, you know, board, white board, yeah, white board I'm using here, white board, black board, and then uh, four walls, walls, and then uh, you can have paper, paper, page, pages of the papers, uh, pages of the book, of book, and etc. These all are the examples of plane. Hope you understood this. Now, what is actually equation? So. Let me explain first. Uh, hope you remember what is a line. So always we know this ax plus by plus c equals zero it represents what a line, isn't it? It represents a line. But here, if you take here ax plus by plus cz plus d equals zero. It represents, represents, represents a plane where A, B, C are constants. A, B, C are constants, not all zero. At the same time, all not will be zero. So. This is the general equation of plane ax plus by plus c z plus d equals constant is general equation of a plane. Okay, so now and then next one this is here, so right here ax plus by plus c z plus d equals zero general equation of equation of plane. This is general equation of plane. This is uh, next one x by a plus y by b plus z by c equals 1 is intercept form. Intercept form of plane where a is x intercept where a is x intercept. B is Y intercept, C is Z intercept. Okay, the third one point is here LX plus MY plus NZ equals P, it is normal form. Normal form of plane where L, M, N down 
N M N R disease of normal from origin to the plane. This L M N is this is direction sign of the normal from origin to the plane. These are the main three formulas and other things how to find the angle between two planes, how to find angle between a plane and line, and other things I'll be discussing later on. Okay? So now let's solve the problem. What is actually solution for this problem? Let's see here. It's number one. A. Here we are given for uh, the equation is here 2x plus 3y plus 4z equals 2 f We need to find the intercepts made by plane on coordinate axis. Means we have to find the intercept on x axis, y axis, and z axis. So let's interchange, let's reduce this in intercept form. So it will be here dividing both sides by 2 l. We'll get here 3y 2 l plus 4 z by 12 equals 12 by 12 dividing both sides by 12 we got here so x by 6 plus y by 4 plus z by 3 equals 1 comparing comparing with from x a plus y by b plus z by c equals 1 we get here x intercept a equals 6 y intercept b equals 4 z intercept c equals 3 this is our answer another way is also there we can solve the same problem by another method so uh, for that what should we do uh, let's see the alternative method also this is the first method. We have alternative method also. The method is also there for x intercept y equals z equals 0. So we'll get here 2x plus 0 plus 0 equals 12. Therefore x equals 6. For y intercept x equals z equals 0 so we will get here 0 plus 3y plus 0 equals 12 therefore y equals 4 4 z intercept set x equals y equals 0 we will get here 0 plus 0 plus 4z equals 12 therefore z equals 3 1b we are given here 4x plus 8y plus 8z equals 9 we have to reduce this equation in normal form so dividing here coefficient of x whole square plus coefficient of y whole square plus coefficient of z whole square gives we we'll get here 4 a square plus 8 a square plus 8 a square it is here 144 equals 12 so dividing both sides by to reduce the given equation in normal form divide both sides by this number dividing both sides by 12 we get here 4x by 12 plus 8y by 12 plus 8z by 12 equals 9 by 12 we we'll get here x by 3 plus 2 by 4 2 is a 4 3 is a so 2 by 3 y plus 2 and again here 3 so 2 by 3 z equals 3 by 4 
it is here the simply so we get here this is this so this is the direction cosine of the direction cosines of normal take the coefficients normal R here simply here 1 into this 3 by 4 take the coefficient 1 by 3 2 by 3 this coefficient and here this coefficient 3 2 by 3 and length of perpendicular and 3 by 4 is length of perpendicular to plane from origin this is our answer so simply what actually i have done i've changed this in uh, normal form lx plus my plus nz equals p and then this l m n are the dc's these are the dc's and this is the length of perpendicular to a the question is here find the equation of a plane which which makes intercepts 2 3 4 on x axis y axis and z axis respectively so it's very simple here x intercept a is given to be 2 y intercept b is given to be z intercept c is given to be 4 we need to find the equation so the equation of plane in intercept form is is intercepts are given so we'll use the equation of plane in intercept form x by a plus y by b plus z by c equals 1 here it x by 2 plus y by 3 plus z by 4 equals 1 or if we take LCM it will be here 12 so it will be here 6x plus 4y plus 3 z equals 1 therefore 6x plus 4y plus 3z equals 12 is the required equation of plane. Equation of plane. This is our solution. 6x plus 4y plus 3z equals 12 is our answer. What to be? Find the equation of plane roots in which which makes intercepts on axis uh, equal intercepts on axis and passing through the point two three four so we can see here let here k k and k because intercepts are equal b x intercept y intercept and z intercepts intercept respectively as intercepts on axis are equal okay so then we can write here then the equation will be x by k plus y by k plus z by k equals 1 which gives here x plus y plus z equals k to be equation 1 now we need to find the equation and this then since it passes through passes through 0.2 comma 3 comma 4 it must satisfy here 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals k 
k who implies k equal to what? 9. Hence, from equation 1, we get here x plus y plus z equals 9 is the required equation of plane. This is find the equation of plane passing through the point 1 comma 1 comma 0 minus 2. We are given three points where we find the equation of plane. Isn't it so late here? So to find the equation of plane, here, we can write here one from like there, or we can this can be solved in different ways. So you can start in this way: ax plus by plus cz plus d equals zero. Now, as it is find uh, by these three points, you will get three equations. Solve them, and you will get the value of a, b, c, and then also and d, and substitute that, you will get the answer. Or we may start like this here. So the equation of plane, suppose there is one point, so it will be here x, a x1 plus b y1 plus c z1 plus d equals 0. So if you subtract here, you will get here, if you subtract this is 1 and 2, if you subtract 1 minus 2, then you will get here a times x minus x1 plus b times y minus y1 plus c times z minus z1 equals 0. We can start from here also. Okay, so always consider if you will find the equation of plane passing through different points, so you will start from here. Three, so that A. Let the equation of plane D A x minus x1 plus b y minus y1 plus c z minus z equals 0. So this is the required equation. We need to find the value of a, b, c as it passes through through minus 2 2 minus 1 and 1 2 1 we get here uh, from first we'll get here a minus 2 minus 1 it will be here Let, let's write here minus 2 minus 1 plus b times 2 minus 1 and plus c times minus 1 minus 1 equals 0 which gives here minus 3a plus b 1 into b and minus 1 into c equals 0 to the equation 2 and if you put this point so 1 minus 1 0 it is going to be 0 0 into a 2 minus 1 1 into b and then 1 plus 1 into c equals 0 to the equation 3 okay so now we need to solve this 1, 2 and 3 and then we will get the value of a, b, c. So to solve these two, I will be using cross multiplication method. Solving by, solving by cross multiplication method. We are given here two equations but three variables are there. So we will find the uh, we will use cross multiplication method. So I will explain it what is cross multiplication. So write here a now a by uh, so cover this so you, you know 1 into 1 1 minus 1 minus and minus it will be here plus 1 and then write here b or b you use like this here first minus 1 into 0 0 and then 1 into minus 3 minus 3 at plus it will be a minus minus plus 3 for c it will be same so it will be same as here so cover this c and then i minus 1 into minus 3 minus 3 
and then here in minus 1 into 2 raised to 0. It gives here or we can write here a by 2 equals b by 3 equals here c by minus 3 so say it is k say we'll get here. therefore we can write here a equals 2k b equals 3k and c equals minus 3k and by substituting the value of this from equation 1 we get here a here 2k times x minus 1 plus 3k y minus 1 and then here minus 3k and it is z simply z equals 0 and if we simplify we will get here k k common so we can take outside and then so it will be here 2x minus 2 plus 3y minus 3 and then minus 3 z equals 0 therefore 2x plus 3y minus 3 z equals here minus equals 5 is the required equation equation of the plane this is the required equation let the equation of plane so 0 minus 1 minus 1 b a x minus 0 plus b y plus 1 plus c z plus 1 equals 0 h1 and as it passes through When 
x equals minus 4, y equals 4, z equals 4. We get here LHS equals how much is LHS? 4 into 5 minus 20 and then 7 plus 28 plus 44 and plus 18. Let's see how much we are getting answer. So minus 4 and this all positive isn't it? So there it is minus 7, so minus, this is going to be minus, minus here, this is also minus, minus, so it is going to be 7 and plus 4, plus 4, so we get this as oh, minus 20 and this minus 28 and plus 44 plus 4 so here minus 48 plus 48 equals 0 equals RHS so the points are coplanar ok then you have to find the equation of plane passing through the point, point is given here, point equals 3 minus 4 and 5 and equation of plane is given here, plane is given as here 3x minus 4y plus 5z equals 7. Now we have to find the equation of plane which is pa uh, parallel to this and passing through this point. So uh, the equation of equation of plane parallel to parallel to 3x minus 4y plus 5z equals 7 is simply 3x minus 4y plus 5z equals okay this will be equation 1 as it passes through passes through 3 minus 4 and 5 we can write here 3 into 3 minus 4 into minus 4 plus 5 into 5 equals k therefore we'll get here 9 plus 16 k equals 9 plus 16 plus 25 equals 50 hence from Equation one. The required the equation of plane is three x minus four y plus five z equals fifty. This is our answer. So it's very simple. We can also uh, use another method but actually what I did here in this question equation of plane is given so I just change the constant I, I suppose the constant as k as it is passing through because the planes are parallel okay so you can consider two walls the two opposite walls they are parallel to each other so what will happen in that type of uh, similar to this we can understand from the equation of parallel lines also if two lines are parallel what will happen there uh, their constant is only different so in case of plane also if two planes are parallel their constant is different others all will be same so this is what i did here to get that for b so that we have to show this to show ax plus by plus cz equals a alpha plus b beta plus c gamma you have to show this this is the equation of plane parallel to again here plane is given the given plane is here the given plane is ax plus 
b by plus c z equals zero and point is given point is given as here alpha beta and gamma so as before let's suppose here let the equation of of equation of a parallel to parallel to a x plus b y plus c z cos zero is a x plus b y plus c z equals k let it be equation one as it passes through as it passes through passes through the point alpha beta gamma so we can replace x by alpha y by beta and z by gamma in equation one so we'll get here a alpha plus beta into b plus c gamma equals k hence from equation one the equation of equation of required required plane is ax plus by plus cz equals a alpha plus b beta plus c gamma which is the required equation which is this is what we have to prove okay hope you understood this and if you have any confusion please share with me thank you so much we are given here two planes first one is here x plus 2y plus z plus 7 equals 0 another is 2x plus y minus z plus 13 equals 0 you have to find the angle with these two planes so let me recall first what is the formula uh, the angle between two planes a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 z plus d1 equals 0 and a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 z plus d2 equals 0 is given by here yeah, cos theta equals a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 whole divide square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square times square root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square okay so this is our formula to find the angle between two planes simply here a1 a2 b1 b2 plus c1 c2 divide a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square square root times a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square square root this will give the answer for similarly for perpendicular perpendicular planes for perpendicular planes will be there a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 will be 0 because cos 90 will be 0 so it gets here for parallel planes planes a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2 equals c1 by c2 these are the two conditions this is for finding angle this is for proving whether the planes are perpendicular or parallel according to this case in this case coefficients will be proportional in case of parallel perpendicular dot a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 equals 0 now let's find the angle between the two planes given okay so it's very simple so now a1 is how much here one b1 is 2 and then c1 is 1 a2 is 2 b2 is 1 c2 is minus 1 therefore we can write here a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square let's find the value of this so it is here 1 plus 4 plus 1 it is here root 6 
a2 square is how much a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square this is what we need in formula so we will find the value of this it is here 4 plus 1 plus 1 it is here again root 6 let theta be the angle between planes then we can write here then cos theta equals what formula a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 will divide root a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square times a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square and it gives here how much is this a1 a2 means 2 plus 2 4 4 minus 1 3 3 by root 6 into root 6 it is here 3 by 6 equals 1 by 2 equals cos 60 degree pi by 3 therefore theta equals pi by 3 this is our answer so here the first one blend is x plus 2 plus 3z equals 6 and second plane is 3x plus minus 3y plus z equals 1 and then we can write here same thing no matter so here right a1 equals how much 1 b1 equals 2 c1 equals 3 so we can write here root a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square equals here 1 plus 4 plus 9 it is here 13 14 root 14 a2 is how much a2 is 3 b2 is minus 3 and c2 is 1 therefore we can write here square root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square gives a 9 plus 9 18 plus 1 18 plus 1 19 that it 3 3 and then 1 so let theta be the angle between planes then we can write here then cos theta equals a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 will divide the square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square times a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square it gives here so it will be here look here 3 minus 6 plus 3 so it is here 3 minus 6 plus 3 by square root of 14 into 19 it gives here 0 because 6 minus 6 is 0 it equals here cos 90 therefore theta is how much 90 degree or pi by 2 this is the angle between two planes okay now move to question number 6 so just uh, uh, what you actually I'm doing here, I just have just used the formula to find the angle between two planes. It's not difficult. Now move to question number six. The first one plane is here. We are given the plane 2x plus 3y minus 4z equals 3. And now we have to prove that this plane is parallel to here 10x plus 15y minus 20 z equals 2 here and third part is here also we have 3x plus 2y plus 3z equals 5 now we have to show that first two are parallel to each other so here a1 equals how much 2 b1 equals how much 3 and c1 equals minus 4 a2 is how much 10 B2 is 15, C2 is minus 20 and A1 by A2 equals 2 by 10 equals 1 by 5, B1 by B2 equals
equals summons 3 by 15 equals 1 by 5 and C1 by C2 equals summons so here minus 4 by minus 20 which gives again 1 by 5 that is we are getting here A1 by A2 equals B1 by B2 equals C1 by C2 so the planes are planes are parallel to each other planes are parallel to each other it is true first part now for second part let's move to second part we have to show that this first this first and third are perpendicular to each other so now let's find it for second part you can see here for second part so a2 is how much here 3 b2 is 2 c2 is 3 now let's check here a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 let's find the value of this so what we'll get here so a1 a2 is 6 b1 b2 is plus 6 and minus 2 which gives here 0 that is a1 a2 plus b1 times b2 plus c1 times c2 equals 0 so the planes are perpendicular perpendicular to each other it is also proved ok my dear students Thank you so much. Hope you understood this. And if you have any confusion, please share with me. Write it in comment box. And if you like this video, share among your friends. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you like this video. Please do share this video with your friends in your circle, in your social media. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. God bless you.